Hello and welcome to Ansys Tutor. In this tutorial, we are going to see analysis of heat transfer from a triangular fin. It is a triangular fin. Its base temperature is 356 Kelvin. The atmospheric temperature is 294 Kelvin. Convective heat transfer coefficient is 95 watt per meter square Kelvin. We need to find out what is the temperature at this tip of this triangular fin. So let's start. Open the ANSYS fluid flow fluent. Go to geometry. Create the geometry in ANSYS design modeler. Go to units and change it to millimeter. Now select the YZ plane to create the base. Go to sketching and draw a rectangle. And put the dimension. It is about 20 mm both sides and it is a square base. Put the dimension value as 20 mm. Now we are going to extrude it up to thickness of 5 mm. Select the extrude option, click on the apply. Now select add frozen option and put the depth as 5 mm. Click on generate. This is the base. Now we are going to create the triangular geometry. For this, select the XY plane, go to sketching and draw the triangle using the polyline tool. The triangle. Now right click and select closed end. Now put the dimensions. Put the constant, vertical constant to this line. The side of this triangle. Another constant we want to add, it is equal length of both sides of the triangle. Now put all the dimensions. Now click on generate. Now we, go, we are going to extrude this. Select the add frozen option and enter the depth of the extrusion up to 20 mm. Now click on generate. Now we are going to unite this. If you want to Make two different materials. Here you can keep this as separate without making unit and making it as one part body.
Now close this one and proceed for meshing. Now we are going to first see the what is the default mesh. Right click on the mesh and select generate mesh. Now turn on the adaptive sizing option with resolution up to 7. For that go to sizing and turn on the adaptive sizing and increase the resolution up to 7. Now again remesh it. There is some smaller cells and previous one. Now we are going to put the named selection to the desired boundaries of this pin. Select the bottom face and name it as heated wall. Now select all these surfaces, all the remaining surfaces. Put the convective bit transfer boundary condition over here. Name it as name it as pin surface wall. Now right click on the mesh and select update mesh so that the mesh will be linked with the fluent solver. Now close the meshing and proceed for fluent solver setup. Select the double precision model, then click on start. Go to models, turn on the energy equation. Go to materials. Here the default material is aluminum for solid body. In the cell zone condition, change it to solid and check if the material has been assigned or not to the cell zone. Now go to boundary conditions. Put the pin surface wall boundary edge. Heat transfer coefficient at 95 and free state temperature as 294 Kelvin. Click on apply then close. Now the heated wall, we are going to put the temperature boundary condition. Now select the temperature option and put the temperature as 356 Kelvin. Click on apply then close. Go to methods and select green dot cell based special discretization. Now go to monitors residuals and decrease the residuals for the energy equation. 
अप टू टेन टू डिपार माइनस थर्टी क्लिक ऑन ओके इट वुड टेक मोर टाइम टू सल्व फिर गोइंग टू टर्न ऑफ दिस विस्कस मॉडल टर्बुलेंट विस्कस मॉडल सो दैट देर वुड बी नो अननेसेसरी सॉल्विंग फॉर द टर्बुलेंस एट इट इज ए हीट कंडक्शन प्रॉब्लम देर इज नो फ्लो ओवर हियर ना गो टू इनिशियलाइजेशन सिलेक्ट हाइब्रिड इनिशियलाइजेशन गो टू राउंड कैलकुलेशन एंटर द नंबर ऑफ इट्रेशन एस थाउजेंड देन क्लिक ऑन कैलकुलेट इट वुड टेक सम टाइम Calculation is complete. Now close the fluent. Proceed for CFD post-processing results. Open the results. Insert a new contour. Select the location as the surface wall. Click on OK. Select the variable as temperature and keep the global range number of contours as 100 and click on apply. This is the temperature variation along this wall, along the wall of this pin. You can turn off the contour bands and contour lines also. You can change the legend view, the full legend view, and for the contour bands, go to renders and turn off the show contour lines. There would be smooth contour, like this. Now we are going to see the. Temperature at these two points. For this, enter the point. Go to lo location and enter the points. Now we are going to find out the coordinates of this point from the ANSI design modeler. And putting these coordinates, we are going to get this results over here. Go to ANSI design modeler and select analysis tool as entity information. Now select the vertex option. And click on this vertex one. Now here on the left side, we can see the x, y, z coordinate of this point. Using this coordinate, we are going to find out the temperature at this both two corners. This one the for the first corner, and for the second, this one the coordinate of the second corner. Using this coordinate, we are going to find out the temperature at this two. locations note it down and enter it over here for the point 1 here the temp data we are going to put should be in meter default unit setting over here is in meter you can check it over in the options bar here In the options menu, you can see here the unit is in SI system and length is in meter. So the default value we are going to put the coordinates in meter. That uh, has been obtained as millimeter in design model. This is the for point one, and similarly, we are going to put another point. This is the point one. We are similarly going to put another point. Put the location and select point two, and enter the coordinates of this point two. Of this second point.
now we are going to create a line using this both coordinates to say the temperature variations along this edge of this pin so let us enter the coordinate of the first point and second point the number of samples and click on apply now we are going to see the temperature at this two vertex for this go to calculator step select function calculator select function as probe and the location as the point 1 now the variable as temperature then click on calculate this is at t1 which is at point 1 first point and similarly at point 2 the temperature is at the same that is 350.561 now we are going to insert a chart go data series in the x axis select the Z, Z length, and in the Y axis select the temperature. See the location as the line one and click on apply. This is the temperature variation along this Z axis. at the tip of this pin with increase in samples we can obtain various uh, number of temperatures at various data points along this line if we are increasing samples as 50 then we will get only 50 number of temperatures along this line with this conclude this demonstration if you have liked this video then hit the like button comment below if you have any doubt if you are new then please subscribe thank you keep learning and keep exploring